good morning to all in this lecture we will discuss about the mini max and maximin principle to solve the pure strategies game we know that when the pure strategy is the among the various strategies if a player select only one particular strategy and ignoring the remaining strategies and also in this game the selection of an optimal strategy by each player without the knowledge of competitive strategy is the basic problem of playing these games here player select the strategy without the knowledge of the competitive strategy since the payoffs for either player provides all essential information therefore only one player's payoff table is required to evaluate the decisions so in the pure strategy game only one player payoff table is required by convention the payoff table for the player whose strategies are represented by rows is constructed in general player a strategies are represented by the row and we are considering the player a is the winner and player b strategies are represented by the columns and we are considering the player b is the loser the objective of the study is to know how these players must select their respective strategies so that they are able to optimize their payoff such a decision making criterion is referred to as the mini max maximin principle such principle in pure strategy game always leads to the best possible selection of a strategy for both players so the decision making criterion in the pure strategy is the mini max and maximin principle first we have to see the what do you mean by maximin principle so maximin principle is the maximize the minimum guarantee gains of a player a so in the pure strategy game player a always maximize the minimum guarantee gains so we know that one all the player a strategies are we are represented in the row wise then in the rows wise you have to select the minimum values among the minimum values you have to select the maximum value that is we are calling as the maximin principle let's see for player a the minimum value in each row represents the least gain to him if he chooses his particular strategy so here the minimum value of the each row representing the guarantee gain for respected strategy these are written in the matrix by row minima then player a will select the strategy that gives the largest gain among the row minimum values so here first we have to select the minimum values for the all the rows then in the all the minimum values we have to select the maximum value this choice of a player a is called as the maxi min principle and the corresponding gain is called the maxi min value of the gain so next we have to see the mini max principle what do you mean by mini max principle means so in the mini max principle minimizes the maximum losses of a player b so in the principle in the mini max principle player b always thinks for the minimizes the maximum losses for player b who is assumed to be the loser the maximum value in each column represents the maximum loss to him if he chooses his particular strategy so you know that when the in the pay of matrix we are represented the column wise for the player b strategies and that is representing the losses for the player so here he have to select the maximum losses and among the maximum losses we have to minimize the losses let's see they are written in the pay of matrix by column maxima then he will 
select the strategy that gives the minimum loss among the column maximum values. So here in the minimax principle, in the column wise you have to write down the maximum values and among the maximum values you have to select the minimum value. That is why we are calling as the minimax principle. The choice of player B is called the minimax principle and the corresponding loss in the minimax value of the game. Next we have to see the what you mean by saddle point. Max mean value equal to the minimax value then the game is said to have a saddle point and the corresponding strategies are called the optimal strategy. So saddle point is the max mean value equal to the minimax value that is we are calling as the saddle point and respective strategy we are calling as the optimal strategies. Next we have to see what you mean by optimal strategy. Optimal strategy is the course of action that puts any player in the most preferred position irrespective of the course of action of his competitors adopt is called the optimal strategy. Next we have to see the value of the game. So this is the expected payoff at the end of the game when each player uses his optimal strategy. The amount of payoff that is a capital V here we are representing at an equilibrium point. So value of the game is min max value equal to max min value equal to the saddle point. That respected value we are calling as the value of the game. Let's see the rules to determine the saddle point. These rules we can discuss with the three steps. Step one is the select the minimum element in each row of the payoff matrix and write them under row minima heading then select the largest element among these elements and enclose it in rectangle. So step one is first we have to write the row minima heading then we have to select the minimum element in the each row of the payoff matrix then among these elements we have to select the maximum element. Step 2 is the select the maximum element in each column of the payoff matrix and write them under column maxima heading. Then select the lowest element among these elements and enclose it in a circuit. So in step 2 is first we have to write a column max heading then we have to select the maximum elements among the each column then we have to select the lowest element among these elements. Step 3 is find out the elements that is same in the circle as well as the rectangle and mark the position of such elements in the matrix. This element represents the value of the game and it is called the saddle point. So in the step 3 is just we have to identify the common element in the circle as well as the rectangle. Then we have to mark the respected position of the rows and the column. This position, this value we have to represent the value of the gap and also saddle point of the game. Thank you.